What's up, Paragon community? It's me, Zeke, and today we're checking out the updates coming in point 0.28. One of the first things you'll notice is our home screen just got a facelift. Man, this really does look good. Uh, another thing you'll notice is we now have quests and victory chests. Completing quests will unlock card packs, and opening chests, well, you'll just have to see for yourself. Your number one request has also made it in-game. Audio sliders! Now you can customize all your in-game volumes. Now let's talk gameplay updates. We've made an adjustment to travel mode and tweaked the way it works. Now after 4.5 seconds of not taking damage or using abilities, you'll enter auto sprint. This works the same as current travel mode, except you will no longer be rooted when taking damage. This should simultaneously improve usability and reduce some of the more punishing aspects of this feature. In point 0.28, we've also added the defensive dunk. If any of your inhibitors go down and you take the orb prime, you can now dunk it on your own side to respawn your inhibitors. You will also be able to view the card menu outside of base. This will make it easier to look at your cards and plan out your progression through your game. But you still need to go back to base to purchase and equip them. We took a look at match length and we've made some adjustments we think will help. We've tweaked the health of towers, inhibitors, and the core to make them a little easier to punch through. And if you get the killing blow on an enemy tower or inhib, you receive bonus card power. We've also made it so armor works against tower shots. So now, building either kind of armor will allow you to tank power shots more effectively. Super minions have also received a buff. Now, there will be one additional super minion, making it two per wave, and they're a bit more deadly. So make sure to protect your inhib. The jungle has received some changes as well. The first is now white camps respawn every two minutes on the clock, and any existing camps will level up, making the minions a little bit stronger so it's best to clear camps as quickly as possible. The buff camps will respawn or stack every six minutes. We've also changed the black buff camp, so now it scales the same as the other buff camps. As you all know, hero balance is something we keep a very close eye on. A lot of heroes have been tweaked in this patch, but we wanted to highlight three changes in particular. The first is Gideon. Gideon no longer has a shield or juggernaut when using Black Hole, so make sure to use Black Hole more tactically, or in the air, so as not to get interrupted. The second is Chimera. His ultimate, Cole, will now root enemies longer, ensuring enemies don't walk out of your ultimate. Additionally, he can now move during the animation, making it easier to stick to targets. The third is your boy Rampage. When he's enraged, he can now throw boulders. That's right, he can now throw boulders when enraged. You're welcome. Starter decks have been reworked so each card maxes out at 10 points, allowing progression to be a bit smoother. We've also added intermediate decks that allow for new strategies with cards like Attack Penetration and Lifesteal, so definitely check those out. Potions will now only have two charges, and now when you place wards, enemies will not see the vision radius bubble so your wards will be a little bit safer now. We've also added extra dialogue options to team comms, making it easier to communicate with your team. And last but not least, we've also added two new skins that include Red Death Kalari and Diesel Steel. For a more comprehensive list of all the changes, check out the .28 release notes on our blog or listed below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.